Uh, welcome, Wolf of Wolfettes. We are back with the brilliant Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart on the PlayStation 5, and we are playing through this game on Renegade Legend difficulty. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now, an absolute ton of story related stuff happened in a previous video, so I'll try to quickly go over what happened in the previous video, and then we will get straight into things. So, pretty much, Ratchet was about to head to Xerxes to meet up with Rivet to let her know that Captain Quantum, the final rebel, had been imprisoned by Emperor Nefarious. Now, just as we jumped into our spaceship, a video started playing showing Emperor Nefarious celebrating his victory over this galaxy. But then he started feeling a little bit sad because he had achieved all of his goals. That's when he decided that he wanted to take over every single dimension in the universe. And that's when he decided that he needs to find himself a map to do so. Then we discovered that he was going to go to Planet Savali, where the archives is, where I got the Dimensionator plans, and he's going to steal the dimensional map. So I went to Planet Savali, Rivet went to Emperor Nefarious's flagship, and that is when we discovered that the archives had been destroyed. But thankfully, Gary the Monk on Savali hid the dimensional map that was in the archives in one of those dimensional anomalies where Emperor Nefarious couldn't get to it. And that's where me and Ratchet are right now. We are just about to do the dimensional anomaly, which is the final clank puzzle in this game. So that's pretty much what happened in the previous video. Oh, and when Rivet and Kit was on Emperor Nefarious's flagship, that's when they found Gary because he had been taken captive and he told them both that he hid the dimensional map inside a dimensional anomaly. I really hate saying that word anomaly. It does not go well with my lips. My lips don't want to say that word. But yeah, that's pretty much what happened in the previous video. Sorry for taking so long to describe it, but a lot of important stuff happened in the previous video. And if you didn't see it, you might be a bit confused. But yeah, let's get straight into things. Now, I think, um, I think there might be a bit of a battle before we get to go inside the dimensional anomaly. So we better make sure we get all of our good stuff ready. Obviously, we're going to use the Glove of Doom. For some reason, we're not on full ammo, though, which is a bit of a shame. Doesn't look like there's any ammo crates around, though. All right, let's do this. <laughs> oh, man, the music that plays when this door opens is very Uncharted-esque, ain't it? Man, I love the soundtrack in Uncharted. I love the soundtrack in a lot of Sony games. Undead grunt for. Oh shit! <laughs> right, let's get all me bad boys. Oh, wait. circle, circle! Okay, let's get all me buddies out. I've got a bunch of Doom bots and I've got a couple of Miss Fungi and also a few Tapiriary sprinklers, so we should be dishing out the good damage at the moment. Also, a bunch of Bone Goons are here to play by the looks of it. One thing I do like about this lightning weapon is how it just chain lightnings between all the enemies. And it also stuns them as well, it's amazing. We've already nearly taken down that undead grunt form. Although I ain't got any more of my um, uh, doom bots or any more of my uh, Ms. Zircon. Not Ms. Zircon, Ms. Fungi. So everyone's going to be shooting at me now, which ain't going to be the best. Ah, who the hell did that? Hey, that's a bit rude. Man, this ain't very good. There's a lot of gunfire coming at me. I mean, I'm all right at dodging, but I'm not that good at dodging. <laughs> Ow! Man, this ain't good, boys and girls. This ain't good. <laughs> oh, man. I don't even know what to use. Oh, what the fuck? Can't let the bone dunes stop the monks. Come on, come on, come on, come on, that's it. Start running out of bullets. No, you dick. Oh. Okay.
The rift is closed. Thank you, Wayfarers. We must proceed to the anomaly. Gotta go. Stay safe, guys. Ratchet, Clank, we're planet side. Find the map yet? I will retrieve the map as quickly as I can. You got this, Bolt. We'll meet you down there. We did not see the Emperor on our way out. I am afraid he is already underground. Oh, no. We must proceed to the anomaly. All right, let's do this then. So the rift has been closed, so a lot of creepy stuff will stop coming out of it now, and we can head inside to find the dimensional map that Emperor Nefarious wants. I mean, to be honest, wouldn't it make sense to just leave it inside the dimensional anomaly? Because if it's in there, Emperor Nefarious can never get to it. So, I mean, we might need it at some point, but for now, I think it's beneficial to just leave it in there, to be honest, but apparently not. <laughs> Just grabbing up some weapons in case we're uh, ammo, just in case we're going to get into another fight. Because I can't remember what happens after you're done with the dimensional anomaly. I know this is the final puzzle with Clank, and I think this one's a bit more challenging, but hopefully we get through it relatively quickly. Do not worry, Clank. You have done this before. And now you are talking in the second person like Ratchet does when he is stressed. Oh my. Oh, no matter. Just take things one step at a time, like Gary said. Fix the anomaly, then grab the dimensional map. Lovely. I think Clank talks to himself quite a lot in this dimensional anomaly, because I think Clank was speaking to Gary a few videos back about not feeling very confident. And I think this is where Clank finally gets his confidence back. So, uh, yeah, I think Clank does speak to himself quite a lot. <laughs> so I'm, so I'm going to have to shut up a lot in this, uh, in this uh, dimensional anomaly. But this uh, puzzle is a bit more complicated. Not so much in this room, but I think the next two rooms are a lot more complicated. I remember uh, having to do quite a lot of random stuff. How are we going to get up on there? Why am I so nervous about this anomaly? Because the oh. dimensions are close to complete. Oh, what is it we need to do? And ending all life as I know it. Yes. That is it. Ah, oh, yeah, we need to Yeah, we need to put a heavy one on here. And then that's going to make the clank bots run over that button for me. Just make sure you're standing here when they get on the button. Otherwise, uh, you won't be able to jump up. <laughs> and then we need this. I know they are not real, but I feel like I should thank my possibilities for helping me learn about dimensionality. Thank you. Um, I'm going to put that on there. Thanks. A couple of them went the right way, but the rest of them didn't. <laughs> oh, well, it worked. And what happened there? Like, why did they stop going the right way? Oh, well, never mind. I'm not going to complain. Lovely. Some delicious bolts. This knowledge. I feel like I am finally close to understanding everything. And knowing how to save the dimensions. That's good to hear, Clank Buddy, that's good. But can you stop talking to yourself, mate? Because I don't like to talk over video game characters. I feel like I'm being very rude. Talking over a video game character, to me, is like talking over a human. I just feel really weird, like really rude if I do it. Which sounds very strange, but I just don't like to do it. And also, I don't want to spoil it if you guys and girls are trying to hear what they're saying. Hiding the dimensional map in an anomaly is quite ingenious. Well done, Gary. And then they're going to keep pressing this button, then they're going to come this way, and then they're going to press this button. Yeah, we don't want them to do that just yet. Oh, actually, oh man, I should have been standing on that. Uh, one minute, let me... 
Let me just take this out a second. Need to give myself a bit of time to get onto it. Right, I'll put it back in there. Right, now we need to quickly get back onto this. I just wish I could use my uh, flipping um, Jedi powers to pull this orb close to me without having to touch it first. <laughs> so if I put it in there, now I walk away. See, I can still grab it, see? But you have to touch it first. Very annoying. Okay, so I need this so I can break open some of those shields. So we're going to use this here. And we can break this. And I think we just, yeah, we picked up a heavy spear. And then we are going to put... Let's take this one back out. And we're going to use this. Oops. Oh shit, was that a heavy one? I put the wrong bloody one in there. <laughs> this. Oh, put the... There we go. Quick, 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 quick. If the Emperor gets a hold of the dimensional map, he could spread his terror oh. wherever he pleased. He could take over everything. Alright, so we've got all the orbs that we need now. So we need to put a heavy one inside that circular saw so it doesn't blend up my poor clanks. Don't know if I could do it from down here. Yeah, I can. Okay. And then I think what we need to do is we need to have one of these to make him jump over the saw. And then they need, what is it they needed over here? Hang on a minute, I can't remember how to do this final bit. Because I think I need to get them to jump up on there. How many have I got left? Okay, there we go. <laughs> and now they should jump over the... Uh... Oh no! Sorry, oh no, I just murdered some of the clanks. I apologise, boys. <laughs> Even has a time limit as well. Got to make sure you get enough clanks in there quick enough. I don't know why you ain't got much confidence in yourself, Clank. I know you've been out of the business for a while. You've been uh, relaxing a bit with old Ratchet. But you must remember all of the puzzles that you did in a cracking time. Because those puzzles were a hell of a lot more difficult than the puzzles in this game. That's for sure. So uh, you, you should have a lot of confidence, mate. I don't know why you're, I don't know why you're uh, looking down on yourself, buddy. I think Clank's an absolute legend, to be honest. This may be it. The final puzzle. The knowledge is tickling the back of my mind. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> right, I remember this one being a hell of a lot more annoying. I think I spent quite a bit of time on this. Because I think we have to do like a lot of jumping to get up on those ledges and making sure we take electric balls of us. Yeah, this one's, a, this one's a lot of faffing around. This one I remember being a right pain. Free energy? How nice. This is where Ratchet would tell himself to take a deep breath. I must keep in mind that I have gotten this far, and statistically speaking, I am just as likely to succeed now. Okay. So now they're going to come over here and they're going to press this button for me. Oh no, 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 Clank. No, no, no. We don't want to do that. And now I can come over here. And I've got the heavy, uh, the heavy all. I will continue to do so. This anomaly will not stop me. 
Um, can I use this to get up there? No, I don't think I can. Right, so I'm going to need to bring this with me. And it's going to need to... Oh, that's what I need to do. All right. So we're going to put the electric one back over there. And we're going to stand on this. And then we're going to take it back out. And then they'll stop pressing that button and then this platform will raise. All right, lovely. And we use this in here so we can use this. And then we've got the speedy... Uh, Speedy all this. Right. So I think I put the speedy orb in there, didn't I? Yeah, because then I can, and then I take this with me, and then I can do the exact same thing that they're doing. Yep. And I'll put this in here. Oops. Not even sure where I threw that. Okay. I think we've got all the orbs now, don't we? But he will not catch us by surprise this time. Yeah, so that's where I put the heavy one up there. So that's where the heavy one goes. Now they'll walk forward. Then they need the electric one over there. And we need the lift one over here. I think we've, we've done it, boys and girls. Hey, we did it. <laughs> Brilliant. I thought I was going to take a lot longer. The cataclysm. I know how to stop the cataclysm. And we are about to get the dimensional map, too. Oh, things are finally going our way. <laughs> oh, man, I love you, Clank. You're an absolute legend, mate. Oh yeah, um, oh, I don't know if you would have seen it already, but um, they released a Sly Cooper pop recently, which was a bit out of the blue considering Sony refused to make a new Sly Cooper game, but they released a uh, officially licensed uh, Sly Cooper pop, and it was only available in uh, America at GameStop as far as I know, but I finally managed to find a website that was sent into England, and I ordered one. You might have already seen it because I plan on unboxing it, but yeah, if I haven't done it yet, I'm going to be unboxing it soon. But uh, yeah, finally managed to get myself a Sly Cooper pop. One thing I haven't managed to get though, is a Ratchet and Clank pop. They was available at game in like a double pack. And uh, they went out of stock in like 20 seconds, but um, I've never seen them available anywhere else. And they're on eBay for like over 40, 50 quid, but I, I don't want to pay that for a pop. I mean, pops are normally like between nine to 19 pound. You don't want to pay flipping like 50 quid nearly, that's a bit too much, even if you do really like the game. But hopefully I can get Ratchet and Clank at some point as well. The Sly Cooper pop, though, is adorable. Ratchet, I did it! Hooray! Now hand it here so I don't have to send your friend's head to Torrent 4. <laughs>
Dinosaur Doom. Been a while. Hopefully there aren't any guards out here. The processing center should be just up ahead. Please still be there, you guys. Despite water cooler rumors, prisoner 4323 has not escaped. Please desist from searching for her and return to your station. Okay, a couple of things. First things first, I told you they should have left the dimensional map inside the uh, anomaly because then Emperor Nefarious wouldn't have been able to have got it. I get also, I get a lot of Iron Giant vibes from when Kit turns into a giant warbot. It just reminds me so much of that brilliant film Iron Giant. And uh, also, even though it was supposed to be a sad moment, when, uh, when Rivet threw her arm to the side, that was funny. <laughs> that was funny. Just being so angry, you throw your own arm across the room. But it's kind of attached to you, so you can't. <laughs> and also, look how Rivet's ears are like swaying in the wind and her towel. Oh, that's adorable. But yeah, um, so... Clank and... I'm guessing... Kit as well and Ratchet have been sent to prison on this planet. I don't know what the name of it was. Vaseron? Yeah. Rescue everyone from Zordoom Prison. So we're at Zordoom Prison. All right then. And it looks like there's three bolts, a spy bot, and two armor pieces that we need to find. Most of it's very easy to get. I think the only bolt that you might have to uh, spend a bit of extra time on is I think maybe this one. But I think the others are basically right where you'd expect them to be. Okay. I don't think we'll rescue any of them from prison in this video because this is a relatively long section purely because it's just an absolute ton of fights. But um, yeah, we should definitely rescue them in the next video, I reckon. I really wish I had done the arena battles and unlocked the box breaker ability because then we'd be able to just do this and all crates in the area and rare Italian would break, but I still haven't done it. We are going to do the cups on camera, but I'm going to do it. But we're going to do it once I have finished the story mode. Oh. Oh. Got a bunch of rare titanium around here. We should also have enough uh, enough bolts to buy a new weapon, actually. Have we already bought the warmonger? Have we not bought that yet? I'm not, I can't actually remember. How do we get up there? I'm probably going to kill myself now. Oops. Oh, look at that. I don't know if I was supposed to do it like that, but screw it, it worked. <laughs> oh, man, I love how they scream when they use their boots. <laughs> now, this game is so stunning, ain't it? If you guys and girls want to see somebody that uh, takes a ton of fantastic photos in this game, on my Twitter, I follow someone. His name is UTO. I don't know what his at would be. I don't know if it's at UTO, Y-T-I-O, or if it's at Stabbed Jawa. But if you look on my, um, my, my list of people I follow, you'll see him. But he takes a lot of phenomenal pictures in photo mode in all games. But at the moment, Ratchet and Clank a lot and Spider-Man. So if you like seeing all those really cool photos that people take in photo mode, definitely give him a follow. Because, oh, mate, he takes some great pictures. They're stunning. Absolutely stunning. Oh, there's Ms. Zircon. How is Ms. Zircon in every single area? <laughs> but how the hell do you manage to hide out in a prison of all places? Oh, this might be the way that you have to go to find the... Um, the go yeah, I can see it in the distance, the golden bolt over there. But this is where you need to remember about your ability to use your phantom dash. Because that's how you get through these security walls. Because we haven't had to do this since the start of the playthrough. <laughs> Right. I think we're gonna buy the bomb bomb deer because this this is just another a good extra uh, teammate to have with you. Summon a few doom boats, uh, bo bots. <laughs> Summon a uh, couple of mis fungi and also a bombardier. It's nice to just have a ton of things helping you out. So we're gonna get this bad boy, Go ahead. and we're gonna upgrade. Get the warmonger upgrades. We'll get some of these as well. Oh, my stars. An additional agent comes from one. each doom egg. Lovely. Very nice. You all come back real soon now. 
sweet. Okay. Oh, hang on a minute. Looks like we've got ourselves a friend over here. Oh, it's like we've got ourselves a few friends. <laughs> oh man, the flipping range of that explosion. Phew, no alarms. Now to find a way over to that processing center. Okay, we're not gonna go over there just yet. We're gonna come this way first and we're gonna grab up that gold bolt and also the rare titanium. <laughs> Poor guy. He was doing a little bit of Rocky Balboa montage training and I just blew him up with a rocket. <laughs> Man, I feel like a dick. That's a cowardly way of attacking someone. You can't attack someone from the side or behind. That's just being a pussy. You gotta fight them uh, head on. The only time dirty tactics are allowed is if you're outnumbered. So if you got in a fight of like three or four people, then fuck it, mate. You pick up a weapon, you do whatever you need to do to survive. When it's a one on one, you can't do that. You can't shoot a bazooka at them from the side. That's just cheating. That's very cowardly. Mind you, they always attack me in big numbers, so fuck it. Oh, flipping hell, I didn't know you could do Oh, this is the Bombardier, look. They're very knack when they're not upgraded. They do take a while to get to level 5 as well. Because they do such a small amount of damage and they shoot very slow. But once you get them to level 5, and you, I think you can start summoning 2 as well, then they start leveling up very quickly. And then there's going to be two more gold bolts, I think, still on uh, at Zerky's Battleplex. So we should be able to get those when we go back and do the uh, the rest of the Bronze Cup. But I don't think you get any more gold bolts from the Bronze Cup. But then you get one from the Silver Cup and I think one from the Gold Cup. And I think you unlock the Box Breaker ability during the Silver Cup. And you also get a Spire Bot during possibly the Silver Cup as well. I wish they wouldn't give subtitles to stuff that's just not important. Because every time those subtitle, subtitles pop up, I think, oh, it's most likely going to be uh, Rapid Rivet talking. But it's not. It's just like some random intercom. I love the flipping tapping that comes through the DualSense controller. It's beautiful. This DualSense controller is sublime. It's absolutely sublime. Like, I'm never too fussed about controllers, as long as they feel good in my hands, you know, I'm, I'm good. But this controller really does go above and beyond, it's amazing, absolutely amazing. Especially in Astro's playroom. Now, I wish, I wish you could feel it, like, it's, it's lovely. It's literally like somebody's putting their fingers on top of your hand and just doing this to you. Which probably does feel a bit creepy. I'm just like, I think I already said this when I was doing Astro's Playroom, but could you imagine what they could do with horror games? Imagine what they could do in VR. Like, you wear the new PlayStation VR 2 when they release it, uh, and then you get to use this controller in certain games, or the new uh, Move controllers they've made that's going to have dual sense technology in it. Imagine, like, playing a horror game, and then in the game, in the game world, you're holding these new Move controls with dual sense technology, so it's got all the haptic feedback and all that stuff. And then having a spider walk over your hand in the game and then feeling it like how realistic this is. That would be horrible. That would be horrendous. But yeah, I'm going to have to end the video now, Wolf More Vets. So next time we might rescue Ratchet, Clank and Kit, possibly. But like I said, this is a very large world, like purely because of all the combat. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Sorry about the large intro as well. <laughs> like, share and join the pack today.